The phrase urban vinyl is a perhaps overly cool way of describing really cool action figures or toys created by artists in limited editions. The first big wave of urban vinyl, or UV, came in the 1990s out of Hong Kong, or HK. But then the Japanese muscled in with predictably delightful results. The Japanese have been providing toys to the world since the post-war baby boom. It used to be that when you saw a Made in Japan sign on the bottom, you knew what you were buying cheap crap. A generation later, there's a new Japanese toy in town, and it's got the three C's. Coolness, collectability, and quality. Their original design, straight from the magical minds of independent designers, kids that grew up with punk and splatter films. So, of course, we met up with the players that are turning toys into art. This is Hikaru of the massive Bounty Hunter. He was one of the first independents to turn ideas into toys. To me, toys are like vitamins. If I didn't have toys, punk rock and rice, I wouldn't be able to survive. And this is Hidi from Secret Base. Hidi specialises in creating nasty, repulsive characters. I think it's because it's fantasy. These creatures don't actually exist. If I saw this fellow standing at the traffic light, I wouldn't be making it. You wish they existed, but they don't. The most popular urban toy is this. It's called the Bear Brick, and it's made a fortune for indie toy manufacturer Medicom, which has already sold over 20 million Bear Bricks around the world. I think the reason I got into toys was because toys were my best friend. Sometimes I make them sit down like this or go... Hello! Let's fight! <laughs> What these two grown men are doing in private may look innocent enough. But to an urban vinyl collector, it's the equivalent of drawing a moustache on the Mona Lisa. Many collectors believe the packaging of the toy is part of the art, like the frame round a painting. I don't really tear the boxes open and play with them. I collect it as a complete unit. I like to keep them in pristine condition. An urban vinyl toy in mint condition, still in the box, is a valuable commodity. Collectors from all over Japan come to toy fairs like this to get their hands on a treasured piece of vinyl. I come to buy a figure by my favorite toy manufacturer, Secret Base. I've been here since 4.30 this morning. I like Bounty Hunter. I have a Bounty Hunter T-shirt. Until about five years ago, if you were a collector of toys like this, you were regarded as a bit weird, if not a pervert. With all these vinyl junkies needing a fix, there are plenty of new young pop artists ready to supply the increasing demand for vinyl. That over there was the first character I designed, a cloud, a cloud character. So next I wanted to design other things that fly. It's a comedy, it's a bat, Batman. The question is, at what point does a toy become a piece of art? In the art world, only pieces such as oil paintings and drawings were considered works of art. And then the Andy Warhol silk screens came into the art world. Many people think of our toys as the three-dimensional versions of those silk screens. Whether a toy is art or not is really up to the person who owns it. Tip from the top. Start buying urban vinyl if you want to own the next Murakami.